welcome. So today I am going to share with you how I created this little witch bag. Um, it's super cute inside. It holds a little shaker and also a little um, bag of goodies. It's just some little charms and a little button that I made for the recipient. So this is for a shaker swap that I am currently in. Um, it's being hosted by Brittany and all we were to send in was a shaker. So I created this little bag to um, send my shaker in. I used the paper collection I used, which I think is so stinking cute, is the Happy Halloween Paper Collection from Fancy Pants Designs. I, you guys, I have a code for you now for Fancy Pants Designs. It's Mommy and Me 10, or I'm sorry, Mommy and Me Crafts 10. I'll make sure to add it here just to make sure what it is because it's new to me. So um, I'll uh, double check what that is and I'll add it on the screen here. Um, so make sure to use that when you shop Fancy Pants Designs. They have three new paper collections that are adorable. I've shared them. Um, I've done unboxing videos here on my channel. So check those out. Um, it's this one, the Happy Halloween Paper Collection, uh, Memory Lane, and Christmas with Kringle. And the Christmas with Kringle is so, so sweet, you guys. I love it. Um, but this one is also so cute. The little witch in this paper collection is just adorable. And she inspired all of these projects. Um, so I also used, to create this, I used two die sets from Scrap Diva Designs. I used this one right here, which is the Witch Bow die set. What's amazing about this is that it comes with a lot of dies, you guys. So you're going to get what you need to create this larger bow, the skirt, the little witch boots. Um, it's so, so stick and cute. And and I think I have an example of what that looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like all together, the way it's intended to be. So you get the bow, the skirt, the little witch legs, and the witch boots. Super cute, right? Um, and so this is how I've used it. I kind of broke it up into pieces. I just used the little witch bows down here as an embellishment. I used the bow up here, and I just think it is so stinking cute. Um, and then the, I use the smaller ones. These are the smaller ones that come um, in that set. So when you are purchasing her dies, make sure that you look at everything you're getting um, because it is quite a bit, you guys. It's amazing. So I also use the cauldron shaker die set. Look at how cute that is. Look at that little spider. That little spider comes in um, another shaker set. Um, but I use this cauldron. This comes with these two pieces right here to create your shaker. And then it also comes with some circle dies to create little eyeballs. And then this is kind of like the, the um, brew at the top of the cauldron. So it comes with all these pieces. And then I also use this tassel die, which I use a lot. This is perfect for making little witch brooms. Um, but I also used this to add a little tassel to the side. I wanted something that was lightweight that wasn't going to cause this to tip over. Um, because this isn't a chipboard kind of project. You know, it's just using... Um, cardstock so I just wanted something lightweight so that you were able to make it stand and I can't make it stand right now but um, that is the reason that I picked the um, the, ta the tassel okay so um, and make sure that if you're inspired to create, pick up any of this paper or any of these die sets that you take advantage of my codes um, so uh, again I will have them in the description box of the video and I'll um, try to remember to add them to the screen as well okay so let's get to the tutorial the, this is the shaker that I made to send to my swap partners. I think it is adorable. Um, I added a little charm that I picked up from my friend Ro, um, and then just a little spider and some really fun shaker bits. Um, I used that orange crush mix from Buttons Galore and more, and I also have a coupon code for their subscription kit, you guys. Um, I am I'm on their subscription kit design team. Um, and so if you decide to pick up the subscription box, you can use my code and you'll get $5 off of every box for a year up to a year so um you know take advantage of that that gives you a really great price on that subscription kit you know and it's a really great way to build your stash my favorite items that i have received in that subscription kit i've received two boxes so far and my favorites are the um sprinklets and the buttons and so you do get quite a bit of goodies and it, like i said it's just a really great way to build your stash and save on um on building your stash so I'm just going to add some double-sided tape because I wanted these little charms to stay in place. Once the recipient you know, gets it or receives it, they can remove that double-sided tape and it should work really well for them. So as far as the tutorial, it's super easy, you guys, to create this little witch bag. It's kind of like making a book. You are going to need a piece of paper that measures three by eight and a half. And on the eight and a half inch side, you are going to score it at three at three and three fourths, at six and three fourths, and at seven and a half. And so this is what it'll look like, three by eight and a half. On the eight and a half inch side, you're gonna score it at three, 
three and three fourths, six and three fourths, and seven and a half. And then what I did is I rounded these corners right here because that's going to be my little closure. And so I wanted it, um, you know, just to give it a little soft touch. I just rounded those corners, fold up on your score marks, and you're done. That is your little witch bag, right? And so now all that's left to do is mat your bag. Um, and what I always do is go down an eighth of an inch for my mats. Um, so these are the mat sizes. You're going to need two of these that measure two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Now, if you want to line the inside of your uh, little witch bag, like I've done here, I use the exact same measurements. So two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths for these little um, areas right here. The spines, these are going to measure two and seven eighths by five eighths. Two and seven eighths by five eighths. Okay. And this is going to go right here. I think, oh, I have these backwards. I went ahead and cut my paper so that it kind of correlated well. Um, and then I think this goes right here. Yes. Just like that. So I'm going to add my. Um, glue my paper onto here and I will be right back okay so I have matted my base I matted the outside and the inside I added some double-sided tape here because I'm going to add my little cauldron onto here and I that's how I'm holding it in place um, and then I also add some eyelets so I'll close this up right here move this over okay let's see I always get so much glue on my hands, you guys. And then I record and I take pictures and I have glue all over my fingers. I'm so sorry that that happens, but you guys know what that's like. Um, what was I gonna get from here? Oh, the eyelets. Do I have some of this? They are over here. Okay, so I have these itty bitty little eyelets and we are gonna add that to the top here. Um, I'm just gonna punch some holes add my eyelets just like so and what that does is that is what I've already added my velcro dot also that is what I'm going to use to add the little ribbon and create the closure or not the closure, the handle for my little witch bag. Um, I was hoping they would stand, but since it's just regular cardstock, I don't think that they're going to. Um, and so then I just grab this ribbon and string it through this eyelet. And if you have trouble with this, just use a little pokey tool to push it through. The eyelet I used was kind of small, but it's because, you know, the book is small. It measures three by three. So I didn't want a large eyelet. And then I'm going to tie a knot on this side. And pull it through. And then you can determine, you know, how much you want of ribbon. They're all different for me. <laughs> um... They all are a little different. I'm gonna take this. Um, yeah, I didn't measure them. I could have. You can certainly do that. You know, measure the first one and then just cut all of the other ones the same size. But I just eyeballed it. <laughs> ah. And so there's my knot. Oops. And I cut this off the fringe. You don't want to leave too much on there because it snags and it'll get caught on things. Okay, so we have the base done. Now I want to add a tassel to the side of this. I made these little tassels right here. Um, and so what I did is I took a pokey tool and I just poke it through this hole that's already here for the, the thread from the stitching I did. And then I'm just going to open this up and put that jump ring through there. Attach my 
tassel and close that up. These group swaps can be a bit tedious. <laughs> um, but the great thing is that once you have your idea, you know, it's it, it's really easy from there. Um, so I'm gonna add my little shaker to here. And then I have this little envelope right here and it has the charms and the little, um, and a little button. This is what it looks like. I love this button. I just used the skull crazy paper from this collection and cut the little skulls out and created this, these little, um, what are they called? Buttons. Um, it's my first time using the button maker that I purchased a while back. Um, I will say though that I could not make them so I had to enlist my husband's assistant. Um, and he, he made them so easily. <laughs> Okay, let me put that in there. So that is our little bag. That is the inside. Then I am going to add an embellishment to the front of this. I'm gonna add this little bow. And again, this is the Witch Bow die set from Scrap Diva Designs. Just gonna add that to the front. Super cute. Then I want to add these little witch boots that come with this bow set. So that's them right there. And I'm going to use some ephemera from this collection. I want to use like a little flower. Let me grab that one. Um, I'm going to add a piece of foam square to this. And I'll stick that on there, kind of like it's coming out of these little witch boots, which I think is gonna be adorable. Then I'll add my little witch boots. And I also added glossy accents to my witch boots. Oops, that was way too much. This is so fun to use. I love glossy accents. They just make your die cuts come to life and just look really cute. I hope I didn't leave any air bubbles. It's hard to see the little air bubbles with all the light that I have here. <laughs> um, you would think it'd be easier, but it's kind of hard. Okay, and that is it, you guys. That is our little, um, let me scoop up this trash right here. That is our little witch bag. It isn't it so darling so it just has this little tassel the bow the little embellishment look at him I love this little ghosty with his little witch hat and then on the back of each little bag I'm gonna add this handmade with love um, I have these left these tags left over from Valentine's and it just had a heart and said handmade with love and so what I'm doing is adding a little a uh, puffy sticker from the collection. Let me see, I think I'm gonna add a bat to this one. To cover the heart, that one actually doesn't cover it. Let me see, maybe this little kitty, he's a cutie. Yeah, and then I just add this to the back. And I'm sorry, I'm doing that off camera. Just gonna add that to the back. I don't, I can't put this down because it has the, it's wet, the boots are wet. <laughs> so I'm struggling with adding this. You wanna do that before you add your glossy accents, but look how cute that looks. Isn't that kitty so adorable? He's so grouchy, it's so cute. <laughs> um, and so yeah, you guys, that's my little bags. I have one more to make. Here's this one. They're all pretty similar. Um, you know, these little stickers, of course, are the difference. Um, and then the little pieces in the front. So just really simple, sweet way to send, I love that little bat too, <laughs> to send a shaker. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to take advantage of all those discount codes that I have, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like this video. If you are new here, I hope that you will consider subscribing. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.